Hiya, we're here for another episode of Ask AJ. Uh, I'm here with Tess. Hi. <laughs> and uh, and actually, at the moment, Phil's not here, is he? No, he's on a cruise. He's sunning himself on a cruise <laughs> in the Caribbean with uh, Molly and uh, all the kids, and they're having a great time. And we're here in rainy, cold Windermere, but we're still happy about it uh, because we've got some exciting show with you today, actually. And it came out of a few conversations we've had with, uh, sorry, my dog's just playing with a ball behind the camera as well, which is not at all distracting. Um, it's come out of a few conversations we've had with people who are, have either already bought and own holiday homes, or those people who are thinking about holiday homes, and actually a lot of our buyers buy holiday homes, don't they? they do, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So quite often when they buy a, a house that they're thinking of as a second home of some kind, it's not always just a holiday home or just their second home, is it? No, it's um, a variety of other things as well. So it could be the just bought. Yeah, they've, they've just bought and they are thinking about how to fund that purchase. Yeah. They want a bigger house than their, um, their budget or their mortgage might allow. So they're thinking about the commercial elements, how they can actually afford to pay for, for that house. So let's say um, ordinarily they could buy a £500,000 house, which will give them really sort of a, a cottage, won't it, in the Lake District, three bedrooms maybe, um, nothing too lavish, but actually if they decided they were going to let it out for some of the year, then they could maybe go up to 750 or even a million because the extra uh, element will be covered by the rental of the house. Now, the reason this is important is because we get asked a lot for our advice, don't we, about this? Yes, we do, yeah. So would this house make a good second home for us? Would it make a good lettable home? Or even the buying a house that's already let out. We've had yeah. a few of those, haven't we? Where there's already a proven income, there's already a record of what what is being let, um, what is what is coming in, um, and it's already uh, quite often furniture, isn't it? What kind of furniture do people normally leave in? Uh, well, they'll just leave kind of uh, hard wearing sofas or a kitchen table. That can they're always leather, aren't they? Yeah, always, <laughs> always leather sofas, brown or wipeable, <laughs> wipeable, uh, and they also leave things like the kitchen fully stocked, don't they? Yes, yeah. They do. And actually, that's quite a big expense that some people don't think about. So the kitchen and the linen and the towels and all those kind of things that you might not think about are already in the house. Mm -hmm. And if somebody's had a, a house that they've let out for quite a while as a holiday home, it even has things like, I don't know, games and books and ornaments and pictures and those kind of things that might, maybe you don't <laughs> think about when you first you know, think about buying a house. So because of this, uh, we decided to set up a, a subsidiary company, a sister company to Ashdown Jones, announcing AJ Retreats. AJ <laughs> Retreats. And uh, this is going to be run initially by a nice small team of Hannah and I. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So uh, Hannah, who um, uh, most of you know, that's worked for, um, for Ashdown Jones for a couple of years now, and uh, Tess, who recently has t took a little break and did some traveling, uh, came back with loads of uh, ideas. And so she is going to be uh, running it with Hannah and uh, really helping people to make the right decisions about buying the right houses and also we're going to be adding some extra services on which is all the, about uh, management. So this is a brand new service that we're going to be offering under sort of the umbrella of the Ashdown Jones, um, I don't know, parent company if you like and we're going to be uh, facilitating uh, holiday homeowners <coughs> to be able to rent their house out through uh, Airbnb but we're going to be offering a special service aren't we? We are, yes. So we're going to be offering a concierge service mm -hmm. um, and also VIP full management mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. so you have complete peace of mind. Yeah, so when you buy a holiday home or even if you already own a holiday home, you've got complete peace of mind that everything's being done that should be done to uh, maximise the rental income from your house and still leave it ready for you as well to use yourself. So for example, let's say you've, uh, you're just buying a house and you don't really know what you're doing in terms of letting it out. We've got lots of people like that, haven't we? Yeah, we buying through yeah. um, Ashdown Jones. Or maybe you already own it, don't you? Yep. And if you already own a holiday home, what could you already be doing now at the moment in terms of uh, letting it out? What could you, oh, you could already be going through a different management company. Yeah. Um, but you might not be happy necessarily with the service or you might be managing it yourself mm -hmm. um, and kind of want to take a step back and let someone else Take over, so. Yeah, we had a house um, that's just, uh, we've just had an offer on actually, from, and the offer came in from somebody who lives over in the northeast, and they said, look, what do we do about letting out, because they're so far away, and you know, what if the cleaning uh, company doesn't turn up, and all that kind of thing, and that's really where Tesla Hannah would come in, because yeah. they will uh, organise the cleaning, and the linen changeover, and all those kind of things, 
And, you know, in worst case scenario, the cleaners aren't available, then we've got Tess and Hannah to step in. <laughs> Best cleaner in the world. Um, <laughs> she will be <laughs> after this. So really, it's about um, making sure that you have, as a holiday homeowner or potential holiday homeowner, everything you could possibly need to make that holiday home ownership a success. So we've been talking to some clients this week, haven't we, about um, what, you, what you're going to be doing for them. About the furniture. Oh yes, yeah, so they've asked for help with what furniture they should buy because they've got an unfurnished property and they need help with beds and desks for an office and sofas and things. So we've sent them a full list of things we would recommend they buy that works well together. Um, yeah, and we can actually buy it for them. And we can also go and buy it for them. Well. So it could be a combination of, um, you know, sometimes actually cheap furniture like ikea furniture can work really well can't yes, it in a lab yeah uh, and it's something that you can afford to replace every couple of years if necessary if it gets chipped mm -hmm. or marked what you don't want to be doing is putting in um expensive antiques no <laughs> <laughs> or you know beautiful oak furniture that you that nobody can put a, a drink down on without a coaster yeah. you know when you've got a, <clears throat> a house that you're renting out you need to be prepared for people not treating it as if it was their own and hard wearing Really. Yeah, and something that's neutral as well to go with everything because yeah. you don't want to, um, everything to be sort of you know arguing with each other and clashing with each other. So you need to think about neutral tones and those kind of things. And they photograph best anyway, don't they? they do, yeah. yeah, we find lots of bright colours can um, yeah they don't photograph particularly well. No. We had a holiday cottage actually last year that um, I don't think you saw it. It was a very little tiny cottage and all the accessories were red in the whole cottage. And it was just a bit overpowering because when you looked at a photograph. Yeah, red. your eyes are drawn to the wrong thing. Mm. Yeah. Red rug, <clears throat> red cushions, red pictures on the wall, and it all kind of got a little bit uh, polarising. So we replaced it for all neutrals, and that's something that Tess and Hannah can do. They can go and source it, uh, get you, the client, to approve it, and then, um, you know, according to a budget, they'll uh, go ahead and buy it for you. They can even make sure, if you are um, somebody from, you know, that doesn't live around here, which you probably are if you're watching this, then they can even make sure that they've got somebody to uh, to install or erect the flat pack furniture for you, mm. uh, put it in place, somebody to be around for deliveries. Yeah. Because that can be a worry as well, can't it? Yeah. Um, is there anything that we've forgotten that we produce and uh, create for people? Just the home styling as well. Yeah. Do you want to say about that? Yeah, so um, once we've kind of got the go-ahead from you that you want to go with us, then we will arrange a photo shoot and we will go in and do the home styling for, for the shoot. So <clears throat> we'll provide flowers and croissants and everything like that, and it will make it look Cakes, really nice and homely. Yeah, scones. For the photos for your Airbnb listing. That's right, because uh, we see a lot, of ha a lot of houses that are listed on Airbnb that just look very lackluster, yeah, don't we? Yeah, photos. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Some of them aren't great. No, they're not. And if somebody's spending their hard-earned cash on coming to the lakes for a few days or a week or more, they want it to look really special. They've got to buy into a lifestyle, yeah. which which is actually what we're really good at Ashdown Jones anyway. Yeah. You know, you've been doing this Ashdown Jones for, uh, you know, quite a long time now. And we know that, uh, you know, a plate of cookies in front of a, a fire with a teapot, you know, that photograph can really sell a house. Mm. And it's no different when somebody's coming for a holiday. Yeah, definitely. You've really got to sell the lifestyle. So the styling is a really important part of that as well. Um, and then the last thing that you that you are going to provide is a little welcome pack, isn't it? Yes, so a welcome basket for all of the new guests that arrive with all local produce, uh, like uh, grass made gingerbread and things like that. Yeah. So. What else could go into it? Oh, I had a whole list. Milk yeah. Milk and milk. And milk yeah, like proper milk and milk. From more bakers. Pennington's tea, Gina. Yeah. Um, what else did we think? There's a few things, a few artisan. Kendall um, mint cake as well. Ken yeah. Of course, <laughs> Kendall mint cake. Um, a few artisan gifts because they do little gins and things, yeah. don't they? So, uh, according to budget, we're going to produce or test and how they're going to produce and create this little welcome basket. And what that does on Airbnb, will you explain why you would do that on Airbnb? So you get the best reviews possible, and then um, then your listing just looks much better than others. So. And if you get really really good reviews on Airbnb, what happens to you as a host? If you get ten or more, um, I think it's five star reviews, and you become a super host, and then your listing gets bumped up ahead of everyone else's, so mm -hmm. you're seeing to more people. So it's a bit like Google or Facebook in yeah. that not everybody sees every listing, therefore you want to make sure that you bump to the top of the listing and you get priority listings if you become a super host. So by being a super host you have to be accessible, we're the host for you, so yeah. you have to be accessible. So, yeah. And then um, your communication has yeah. to be really yeah, got to have responsive. Have percent communication rate. So. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And, uh, and I know myself because I've booked an Airbnb before when I've gone ahead and 
you know, communicate or try to communicate with the host and then that person hasn't replied, it's a bit frustrating, mm -hmm. isn't it? And you don't want them to then, you know, email somebody else and somebody else and somebody else and then somebody else gets the, the um, you know, the booking. So this just takes all that away from you that Tess and Hannah will be the host and they will manage all this for you. And so all those little touches like the right linen, the right styling and the right uh, welcome pack all go into making a holiday home much, much more profitable. So just to reiterate, if you are uh, thinking or you've just bought a holiday home and you would like a chat or what else? You already own a holiday home um, and you manage it yourself and necessarily don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. or, it's becoming a bit much really, yeah, are you? Or then if you're already with a management company and you're not happy with the service, mm -hmm. then yeah. Then give us a call. Mm -hmm. So you can call us here at the office. Uh, Tess and Hannah are going to be based here about half the time. Yeah. So they, they may be out and about uh, on their mobiles, but if you phone into the office, then we can make sure that we put you in touch with them. But it's 015394 And uh, AJ Retreats is now born. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> All right, we'll see you on the next episode of Ask AJ. And wherever you are, have a wonderful day today. Bye for now.